Hello and welcome back to the Blue Room Project. There has not been an update in quite a while because there hasn't been any updates to the Blue Room in quite some time. So it's been a few months since I uploaded any videos, but now I'm ready to do a bunch of changes and so we're going to go through all of the updates that we have. Starting with the 40 gallon saltwater aquarium. Saltwater aquarium has been down for some time, but I have had the water running and the system running for about four months now with no stock in there except for one little crab um, and the crab has survived those four months all by himself in there so he's had the run of the mill to himself the water parameters have been stable the algae is no longer growing the light cycle is great um, so the tank is running phenomenal obviously because there's no there's nothing in there there's no fish and there's no food being added to the tank um, but I'm able to clean it and cycle it completely through at about four months now it should be ready for to be stocked again there is my um, copepods and life growing in the main display tank now that in the past year almost year and a half almost two years I've never actually been able to get copepods or anything to grow in the main display tank. The only time I've had copepods is in the refugium. Whenever I add chateo in the refugium, then copepods would stay in there. But I'd never seen them migrate into the main display tank. And the main display tank has never had copepods or any of those little critters running around the main display tank. So now they are actually in there on their own without me adding anything to the tank. They have grown in there and they're all around and they've been in there for about two months now so the tank is doing very well <clears throat> I don't know exactly when I'm going to stock it or what I'm going to stock it with but it is definitely ready to be stocked again so I'm excited about that um, on blues and blue is doing good she still has her spot there she's doing very well um, so pretty much no updates there one of the big things that I wanted for this vlog was to get a ball python and kind of log the progress of a baby ball python growing up <clears throat> and an owner who's never had a snake before or not really had any snake experience see what that experience is like to for a first time snake owner to see what to basically see what the progression and see what that experience is like owning a snake for the first time so I set up this cage here, this enclosure, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but in preparation for my ball python, but it ended up being a little bit too small. Um, I've held the ball python that I'm going to get at the store, and I've decided on this ball python particularly because I've kind of held them a few times. So I was originally planning on getting one from a breeder or from the Repticon show that I've been to. But being that I was unexperienced with snakes, I wanted to get some handling time with some snakes, so I would go to the pet stores. And one of the pet stores that was closest to me had a baby ball python. They had two baby ball pythons in the store, so I would go there more frequently to hold them. So I've held this snake that I'm going to get about maybe two or three times maybe four times already so um now that i'm ready to buy one i'm kind of already accustomed to him so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab them and they have a sale going on so they have them um, on um, the other stores have them about at 60 of the repticon shows they obviously they vary this is going to be a normal ball python not any specific morph so he's going to be relatively cheap so hey bonus there too but I do have to get him a, a bigger setup because this setup that I did here uh, ended up being a little bit too small the last time I held him he kind of filled up my hand and I have this right here in there for him and this is as you can see already not really going to cover him entirely um, I also have this coconut in there and also if he can fill my hand is that coconut's going to be kind of small so I did end up creating him I didn't want to go buy a third and um, hi so I got this toy which was my son's and it was actually a road 
And it was part of a Batman car whole thing there. But it had rock formations around it. So I decided to cover the road with moss. So I just glued some moss onto the parts that really look like roads. Cut, up, cut open in a hole there in the front. And that there will fit the ball python very, very, um, very good. But as you can see, it takes up pretty much the entire enclosure. So I'm going to go to the store, get him a bigger size tank. I thought this was a 10 gallon. It's not. This looks probably like a 7 gallon tank. So I'm going to go get a uh, 10 gallon tank. They have them at the store right now for 15 bucks. So, hey, you can't beat that. I'm going to DIY the... Uh, the lid to the enclosure and I already have a heat pad. I already have a humidifier Obviously, I have the thermal guns and everything else that I need so um, You guys will see the build of the ball python enclosure along with the custom lid that I decided to do with it I don't know what the lid is gonna look like for originally I had this bookshelf kind of idea where the books would hold it down so that the ball python wouldn't push up on the lid so it would hold it steady um, along with making some space on my side of the blue room so and it would keep the cats away you know away from getting into it with the lip here you know it won't slide in any direction it can't be lifted up so the cats can't get in and the snake can't get out I don't know what I'm gonna do for the new enclosure um, it does have holes um, in there for air, so you don't have to freak out about him losing oxygen. Um, I do have to increase the amount of holes that I do in the custom build because the humidity in the house is already at 50%. So I have a pretty high humidity in the home already. So <clears throat> with the water bowl in there and with that kind of substrate, um, which is not moist, is completely dry. Uh, the humidity is already sitting at like 80 90 percent in this small enclosure so the new one I'm gonna make sure I have good ventilation around the top to make sure that the, the humidity doesn't go too too high so that's the plan for today go pick up a new cage um, and who knows maybe I'll pass by the fish store and see what kind of fish I can see to get an idea of what I'm gonna stock in the 40 gallon I'm not going to stock it this time around with anything too expensive. Uh, just kind of like I did the first time around, start with you know some lower end things. For I got to get some um, cleanup crew. Actually, I'm going to go to the fish store because I need a cleanup crew in there. I only got one one little crab, so I'm going to go get some snails for some cleanup crew in there, and we'll go look at the fish store. So that's the plan. Stay tuned. Deuce. All right, this is what we're here for today. Nice little 10 gallon, 15 bucks for $16. That's what we're gonna pick up. That's pretty much all I need. And we'll be back on our way home. So, this is an unexpected stop at the aquarium store. Let's see what happens here. Not no Look at this. The eel. It, 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 it used to be just that one. Yeah, but like the size is big. Okay, where's Mimo? Puffer fish! I want to see them puff. Yeah. It's fun when they puff. Yeah, good. Where's Mimo? No, Mimo needs to puff. Mimo! Mimo! We need to have Mimo and this Mimo. Uh, that's a doorway. Is that doorway? Where's the puffer fish? Puff, puff, come on. Don't touch the glass, guys. Don't huh? touch the glass. I wanted to puff. Come on. No. Why? This store changed. Yeah, they did. They upgraded a lot. They upgraded this fish store quite a bit. Nice new setups, new fish tanks, new display tanks. Very nice. Look at this little body cute here.
What is it, guys? A crab. Where's the crab? Right down there. there. Look at that big thingy right there. Yeah, that's a big coral. Looks like a brain. <laughs> it does look kind of like a brain. Mimo! Mimo! Little Mimo! Whoa, that is a very small Mimo. Remember when we had to ease to have that guy? Yeah, but he probably died. I've seen a starfish <laughs> like that before. That little guy. <gasps> There's a squid? Let me see. I don't think that's a squid. I think it's a starfish. I've never seen one like that before. This is squid. Cool looking. Very cool. Why didn't it move? I want that to move. Julian, you can't tap on the tank. We only need one more fish. Because we have one. Oh, just one more. I'm a squid now. Alright, so that was sort of an impulse buy. <laughs> but we kind of got four damsels and a couple of cleanup crew for the tank, which is now ready. Why didn't I get the Corvette? Yeah, because that that was what that was definitely one of my options. Get in the car. Why did I not get? All right, and we're back home from the stores, and so we kind of displurge a little bit. First off, I'm going to go ahead and get our new stock in the 40 gallon. We have here four little damsels, two of the yellow tail damsels, and two. I don't know, spotted damsels? I'm not sure what you call the other two kind of damsels, but we got four damsels here. I'm going to go ahead and drop them in the aquarium and let them start acclimating to the water here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop them in there like so. Uh, I'll go look at them from the top, make sure they have enough space to swim around. And obviously our cleanup crew. Go ahead and drop our cleanup crew in there too. Alright. And so, wasn't really planning on stocking the tank today, but hey, what the hell. The tank is ready. So, and so am I. Let's go take a look. Make sure that they got plenty of space to swim in that. In those little bags. Oh yeah, they'll be fine in there for a couple of hours. Uh, that bag is kind of floating around. I might, yeah, I might want to tie that one down so it's not going all over the place. But they're fine. Cool. All right, I'm gonna grab a rubber band, tie down the snail so they don't float all over the place, and then I will meet you guys in the garage so we can set up the ball pythons enclosure guys here's the build of the tank lid apparently i lost the footage for the ending of this vlog which is kind of okay because this vlog is already running kind of long you kind of get the drift here i created a wooden lid for the glass enclosure allowing me to drill holes in the lid um, gave me the ability to kind of control the humidity in the, in the tank a little bit better being a glass tank so I will go over the tank setup in another video. And so that's about it guys. As I was waiting for this to dry, I kind of played around with the Nerf guns with the kids. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.